Hello, I just want to ask you a quick question. Do you have a big butt in your life? Now I'm not being rude, I'm not asking about the physical one of you, I'm talking about the butt that's in your mind, in your head, in your thoughts, in your words. I'm talking about the, but I can't do that, or that's a really great idea, but, or, um, mm, yeah, but, that but word that just keeps coming into everything. And what it does is that no matter what you've said before in your sentence, the second that you say the word but, it's taking away everything that you said before. It means that everything that you said before you didn't really mean because you had another meaning that was the but. It's a really interesting exercise to try to do, to think about catching yourself each time you say the word but. Maybe even get a little notebook and put a little tick there that shows how many times you say the word but. Become more aware and then think, why is it that you said one thing at the beginning of a sentence that it was okay to do it or you liked that idea or you could do it? What suddenly gave you the but? What was it about there? Start becoming more and more aware. And please, please, don't beat yourself up. Don't have any negative thoughts about the fact, oh, I've done it again, I've said but again. Just think, wow, congratulations, I'm becoming more and more aware. Because every time you become aware of that big but, you're actually helping to break the habit of it. Because in the end, you'll just get fed up of having to stop and to assess why you're saying but, and so you'll stop saying but. And the more awareness that you have, the more thought you'll put into what you're actually saying automatically. Because quite often, and I found with many of my clients, the word but is automatic. It's something that just comes out of their mouth in their subconscious. So just for today, think about how big a but you've got in your life. Enjoy it, become aware, and have a great time getting rid of that big but. Bye.